Welcome back, my friends, to the Madagotsi show that never ends. It's hello from him. And it's hello from Sasha the Guzzy Dog, who's covered in dust and sawdust. <laughs> it's too hot to be outside today. It's, oh, I don't know, plus 36 or plus 37. And neither of us like that kind of weather. So we're doing a job inside by the fan. I hope, uh, I hope it's not drowning me out, that noise of the fan. But anyways... Yeah, so the Moto Guzzi is a really nice, simple, strong engine to work on. I love them. And when it comes to torquing the head down, because we have to retorque it because it has a composite uh, type head gasket. So when it comes to retorquing the head, it's, it's a fairly simple job. There's one or two things you have to know. Um, there are six bolts. One two three four five six but you have to remove the rocker arm to get at them i've removed the rear rocker arms and push rod and you have to remove this plug and the purpose of this is to keep the oil in the rocker box so it doesn't leak out down the side of the engine because down there there's a stud well, i don't know what it, what do you call it it's a nut actually it's a nut, but it's um, it's designed to take that, so that will go down there. And it can be a bit of a bugger. Those tend to corrode if your engine's not been apart um, before ever in your estimation. I, I I suggest that you get one of these. And initially, when you come to undo it, I mean, probably soak it if you can. Soak it with some. Um, Oh, you know, some penetrating oil or some of that freezing, ease off, freeze stuff, whatever. And then hit it with one of these with, with an impact gun on the end. Um, I've made this adapter out of a knackered old, um, knackered old socket. But, you know, you can buy adapters, but just the day that I wanted it, I didn't have one, so I just threw this together. Right, so let's, let's take the rocker off. Now ordinarily there would be a, a washer, a, a spring washer and a thrust washer in there. That's what they look like. And that little washer is the one off this bolt here, which you need a 10 mil wrench to get that off. Um, Incidentally, this one you'll need a 26 mil socket to get that off, or a wrench if you can get a wrench on it. Somehow doubt it. But anyway, that's 26 mil. These are 10. So you have to pull the rocker shaft out and have a good look at the rocker shaft because these do tend to wear out, but they are readily available. And if you don't change your oil very often or you put the wrong grade of oil in, you'll find this will wear quite badly put that over there then you can remove the rocker arm and this is where you lose the spring and the thrust washer and it probably try to go down there or on the floor or somewhere you take your rocker arm off and you, you just check where the push rod goes and then you just check that surface it's not you see a tiny bit of wear there but hardly anything pull out your push rod and make sure you don't bring your cam follower with you Cam follow is like a, an inverted bucket. So you just check on this. And you check on that too. They're not too bad. The push rods look identical. I'm not sure if they are or not. They're, they're almost identical, but it pays not to, to mix them up. I tried to put mine down separately, you know, front and back. Okay, so the next thing we do is we want to tighten her down. Now, um, torque wrench, obviously. This is my jolly old torque wrench. Bought at great cost about 40 years ago. Uh, this was very expensive at the time. That was in the days when tools were expensive. Um, and made, made in England, not China. So there we go. Um, yeah, so the book says 29.4 foot-pounds. I don't know what that is in newton meters or kilogram force or whatever because I don't do that French um, metric nonsense. So the last time it was torqued down, 
I had it on 30. Now I've just gone the width of the line over. It, I can't quite get it. Can't quite get it in line. Yeah, that's it. You see, that's the closest it is to real life. So that's sort of the width of the line over the 30. Very slightly over. Now, I'm not expecting this to be accurate to within 0.1 of a decimal point or anything. I mean, this gets it somewhere close. And if and if you didn't have this, then you'd obviously you'd have to um, to estimate it, you know, to one uh, two cracks of the knuckle or one crack of the elbow, and that's 30 foot pounds, right? Okay, so when I do them, I always do the middle first, squash the middle down, and then even the sides out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, pretty simple, really. So we'll pop in the 10 mil, pop her in, get this bugger on here. So we'll see how we're doing. Oh, spot on. Let's get that bugger off. Trying to do it one-handed. Always fun. Put that down. Put this one on. I'll crack on. That one's good. Oh, just a tiny bit. Nothing at all. Oh, a tiny, tiny bit. Nothing. So, check them again, nothing, I always run around them again, they, very often they don't need anything, but um, it doesn't cost anything, what else are you going to do, eh? What else are you going to do, sit in the house watching TV, watching the football, watching the politics, watching all that bloody nonsense? Okay, so that's good. Good. Trying to do it through the camera one handed is not easy. Yep, good. 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 So there we are. That is retalking the head on a motor gutsy. Um, if you weren't filming and you didn't have to mess around one-handed, it would probably take you about 20 minutes each side. <laughs> well, at the most, or you, you could do it in 10 minutes easy. Very, very simple. Compare that to a, a double overhead cam. Uh, modern engine like in the triumph for one of the japanese bikes you know so there we go pretty simple what do you reckon sasha is that pretty simple what do you think sash a pretty simple job can a squirrel do it yeah no squirrels can't do it so there we go i've wasted nine minutes of your time it's a very very simple job and this is one of the reasons why Guzzies are one of the best bikes you can get. Couple that with a shaft drive. That's your maintenance jobs made very, very simple. Okay, so until next time, take care of yourselves, look after one another, keep the rubber side down, keep the shiny Guzzy side up. Bye for now.